Hi, as I have mentioned in the core Java overview presentation, once you learn the language fundamentals, it's all about applying your knowledge to understand the interfaces and classes that make up the different Java and J2W APIs. And one such API is the JDBC API, which allows your Java applications to connect to the databases like Oracle, SQL Server or MySQL and to execute the SQL statements that will either add, update or delete or even query your database against your database tables. The first important interface under the java.sql package is the driver interface that's implemented by a third party vendor or the database vendor itself. So Oracle comes up with its own JDBC driver jar file which has all the classes that implement the different interfaces in the JDBC API. Similarly, Microsoft comes up with the, its own driver to connect to the SQL Server database and perform the various SQL operations from within your Java application. So the first, first statement in your JDBC code will be loading the driver into memory using the class.farname method. So on the class, we invoke the static method called farname and we pass in the driver name which loads it into memory. And when a driver is loaded into memory, it registers, it automatically registers itself with the driver manager class which is an important class in the JDBC API. And when you invoke the get connection method on the driver manager class by passing in the URL and the username and password for a particular database, the driver manager uses the driver which has registered itself with the driver manager and it connects to the particular database and it returns an instance of that connection. The URL is very specific to a database, so for Oracle it could be something different and for SQL Server the syntax could be slightly different. I will show you the syntax for a URL when I do the drivers, the different types of drivers in the next session. Once you have the connection to a database, once you have the connection object, you can create a statement object which wraps the SQL for your application. So if you are querying against a database, if you are updating your database tables or even if you are inserting a row into your database table, you will pass in that SQL to the create statement method on the connection object and that will create a statement which you can use to execute your SQL. So the next step is to execute your SQL and if it's a select statement, you invoke the execute query method on the statement object. If it's an insert or update statement or a delete statement, you use the execute update method on the statement object. The execute query, as you can see, returns a result set which has the rows which satisfy the particular select query and you can iterate over the result set, invoke the appropriate methods and either display the data or do whatever your application has to do with the data. As you can see, the SQL, the JDBC classes or methods throw the checked exception of type SQL exception and you have to handle it within your uh, database code. There are two other important statement types, the prepared statement and the callable statement. Unlike the statement object, a prepared statement, when you use a prepared statement, it pre-compiles your SQL queries or update statements. From So for, when you use your SQL query for the first time, your SQL statement will be compiled against the database and from that point in time you can just pass in the parameters which are required by your where class and you need not, your, and your SQL statement will not be compiled every time so it improves performance and you should be using the prepared statement wherever you can and to invoke the stored procedures to execute the stored procedures from within your Java code you use the callable statement so to create a prepared statement or a callable statement instead of invoking the create statement method on the connection object, you invoke create prepared statement to create a prepared statement object and a callable, to create a callable statement, you invoke a method called prepare, prepare call on the statement object. So it's that simple. To summarize, now you know how to connect to a database and how to execute SQL statements from within your Java application using the JDBC API. The first thing we do is we load the database driver, the JDBC driver into memory and when we do that it registers itself with the driver manager class 
in the JDBC API and then we invoke the get connection method on the driver manager class by passing in the URL to the database and the username and password to connect to the database. The driver manager will use the driver which has registered it itself with the driver manager and creates a connection object and once we have the connection object we can create a statement object by passing in the SQL we want to execute. The SQL could be either a query like a select query or an update statement and insert update or delete and in case of a query we invoke the execute query method on the statement object and in case of an update statement, a DML statement, we use the execute update which returns a int value saying how many records have been updated and in case of execute query method it returns a result set object which has all the rows that satisfy your select query and you iterate over the result set and take the appropriate action within your Java code and uh, the methods on all these various uh, interfaces in the JDBC API throw a checked exception called SQL exception and you should handle it appropriately. Two other important, you have also learned the two other important statement types that they are the prepared statement and the callable statement. Prepared statement pre-compiles your uh, SQL statements so it's not they are not compiled every time you execute them within your code so they improve the performance. And callable statement is used to execute the stored procedures from within your Java code. In the next session, I will be presenting, the, presenting more details on the driver and the different types of JDBC drivers that are available. Until then, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.